it's Nana A. Welcome back to my channel. On this rainy day, we are on our Island of Harvest. Our 30-day, no terraforming, DIY-only challenge. This is episode 18, and we are moving along, y'all. We have 12 left. So, we're, we're on the downhill slide. This build, we are going to make Norma. We've already moved her house. Put in the new bridge. We have some hedges. And all I did was just see if I could do it. And I can, so. But I, then I had no room in my pockets to pick it up, so I just decided to leave it. So I just framed where the tulips were already. The only thing I did not do is fill in this area because I wanted an orange tulip and I cannot find my other tulips anywhere other than the ones in this area. So we're going to leave that and hope that an orange one fills that spot in. If not, maybe these, these two would uh, have an orange one pop up. You never know. But that's, that's what the spot is. Now the first thing we're going to do is I made a pink brick which is too bright and I'm going to change it. I'm just going to put down the designs as I make them and if the colors are not right then at the end of the series when we go in and we start doing our filler builds, our transition areas, we will also tweak the um, colors on the design codes, whatever they may be. Whatever we want to change, we're going to fix. But right now, I am just more concerned on getting the builds done and getting us in the home stretch and our time limit. We're going to do that, y'all. We're, we're going to do it. I know that um, I'm behind posting some vid videos, and I do apologize. In my area, we had some really bad storms on Friday. This is Sunday when I'm making this. On Friday, and, um, well, actually, the storm hit on Thursday and Friday. It, it just wouldn't go away. But we lost our electricity. So I had no way of making videos for Thursday or Friday. And we did get power back Friday. I did attempt to do a stream. I probably shouldn't have because it was a regular Nana A Chaos Everywhere stream. The storm reconfigured everything about OBS that I had. And I had to call my tech support in. My husband graciously came home from work and helped me get stream going and it just to me didn't didn't pan out from there but at least we tried and then after that um, we had some in real life things to do that the storm uh, messed up one being I had to go and throw away everything in our refrigerator and freezer that we just purchased. So that was fun. But anyway, this is episode 18. We're a day behind. We will catch up. My um, goal is to be caught up by Monday, which is tomorrow. So. There'll either be two episodes today. I am streaming at 1.30, so I don't know how that will go, but if I'll get to do two today or it'll be two tomorrow. And I apologize because I try to do my 30-day challenges daily, you know, so you can see them as they happen. But, you know, he, Mother Nature just showed us who's boss again, so... What are you going to do? You're just going to make the best of the bad situation and move on. And that's what we are doing now. So, this is the brick for the patio. 
I'm going to try to make it a little bit different shade than her house. A little bit. Not the exact same color, I think, for the patio. And then over here, we will put the wooden stool with a pink pattern on it. And then, um, just for the stall. I'm going to tell you, this is the third time that I've done this video, I'm going to confess. Um, the first time I did it, I had the wrong screen on, and I did the whole video. It, the build turned out really well. And then I, when I was playing it back to do just a little bit of editing, I noticed that I had it on the wrong screen and the screen for my stream today, my overlay for my dreamy villager hunt was still there. So it showed in the video. So I had to scrap everything and start over. And I don't know about y'all, but sometimes I don't remember where everything was after I've done it. So then I did it a second time. And I looked at the screen to see in OBS how long the video was, and I noticed I never pushed record. So I'm just telling myself that was two practice runs, so I better get this right. We are recording. Microphone is on, I hope. We're going to put a pumpkin pie and a cherry tart there. That's her sell items. And back here, we're going to go ahead and start the fence. But first, let me see. Okay, I can't do it. Um, we're going to put a barrel back here. You know I love a good barrel. Especially when there's not a whole bunch of other stuff we can do. There we are. Continue with the fence back here, and this just kind of fences off her backyard, so to speak, where her fruit orchard, small fruit orchard, you know, uh, Miska has the big one, but she has a small fruit orchard that uh, she uses to bake with, and Miska was okay with that. She gets the bulk of her stuff from him, so, in fact, she bought her trees from him. So, he's good. Um, where is it? There we go. Right, push it over a little. And I just used the wooden slats for this because I just wanted something to put this on to make it look a little, a little stable. We're going to use the turkey day casserole to put there, and that's, I'm not using it as a casserole dish, I'm using it as like a Dutch oven. And um, if you don't know what a Dutch oven is, we do use it a lot to bake. So, we're going to put, let's put an apple tart there. Now, let's build some more fence over here. We are going to leave a little place for Norma to go fishing, and we might even uh, put her a little fishing area there. You know, when we start doing our filler transition areas. She's already been over there fishing, so I know she likes it. And she's probably wondering how many times am I going to have to do this build to get it right? And the answer is, I don't know, Norma. Trying. Okay, we're going to just come back here. I wanted to do like a little alcove, maybe, for the uh, stall. We put some clover right there. We're going to bring the fence down to right here. And that's going to be like the little gate. Bring this down. I think we're going to 
do it like that because we're going to eventually have a path that goes here up through there. So we're gonna do that. I did it again. get the balloons when I build, but in the challenge we're doing, we need all the help we can get, and it might be bells, so let's get that one. Now let's see. Oh, that would be so cute to use here, y'all. So cute. But, no go. Okay. I have done something wrong with the fencing. I know it needs to go up here. This video lasts a while somehow, y'all, yeah? so might as well be with fencing, huh? Okay. Now, I had just enough fencing. We're gonna make a bigger gate right here. And I will f probably fill that in when we do the um, filler build back right there. Now, for the entryway, I thought we could use, not the hay bed, not that, that's be so cute, y'all. The garden stands and the wheat. The bow. I was going to get myself in trouble with it. Okay. Now I know that we can do it. I know we can. I should have tried this before. Okay. Yes, we can do it. We're going to have to change that. Fencing a little though, still, aren't we? So, that's not enough room. do it like this. Give it a little bit more. But we're going to try to do it like this. We're going to put this one up. Why won't it go there? Why, y'all? I don't understand. here, instead of a serving cart, which I do not have, we're going to put an ironwood load table in the old weathered look, because I did, it doesn't come in white, so that's as close as I can get 
And on it, we're going to put the cookies on this side. And the apple pie on this side. And then we're going to come here and we're going to make the seating area. Hopefully. Oh, wait. We want to put some firewood right here for the... oven and I did give her one of the bigger the bigger ovens not just the brick oven so I thought Norma deserved it. there's some firewood and right here we're gonna put her a little rocking chair so she can just sit out here you know what let's just start the transition feel I know this would be so cute out here, y'all. And we will customize it. I just ran out of customization kits and I'm being lazy. So, I'm sorry, y'all. Okay. Now, and look, y'all, I got it. Yay, we have music now. Um, we're going to use the wooden chair. And then the wooden box for the table. I thought that was so cute. And these are little builds, y'all. Little builds. Um, because I'm doing it in the yards because, as I have said before, the big monster build, we're going to use the place setting. We have two dish sets now, the spooky and the turkey day. So I was excited about that too. You know what, let's push these over just a little. The big build is going to be the farmer's market. So, oh, that's going to take, that might even take Two videos. I don't know yet. I'm still looking for some DIYs. Y'all, again, I'm sitting down. I'm sitting down on the job one more time. Put the wooden box here. And on this one, we're going to put an apple smoothie. She's not a smoothie shop. But she does have an orchard, so why not? Now everybody that has a business is going to have a space, not necessarily just one stall, but a space at the farmer's market. We are going to have, like I've said, we are going to have um, a hedge maze. Because the farmer market here in my area has a corn maze. We, of course, cannot do a corn maze, so to speak. We could use a yellow hyacinth like we all used to, but I like it where you can't walk through. Oh, look, I'm stuck. I'll just walk through. Okay. On this side, we're going, or on this table, rather, we're going to put an orange sweet. Now, this is her little bakery, but we need some more tables right here. And since we do not have the serving tables, we're going to use the natural wood, or natural garden, sorry, tables. We're going to put the orange pound cake. And then, we're going to put some frosty cookies. I just wanted a little bit, I do not have a lot of the cupcake recipes. I don't have a lot of um, different recipes for the bakery. So I just used what I had. And now, 
we need to find, one thing I did not have was something for the music box. You can't just put the music box on the ground, y'all. Um, see, I have things to sell. I've got a spotlight, a yoga mat, cat tower, monstera, long bathtub, all of that stuff to sell. Um, we do have another wooden box. We could use it. We could use that. But do we have? We absolutely do not. Okay. See, we can't really put anything right here. Or she can't walk back there. We have the pumpkin. We want to leave this area for an orange tulip to hopefully appear. So, we're going to use the space back here. I hear another balloon. Oh, it's already passed. I'm not chasing that one. No, I'm sorry. travel 15,000 days to get them. Why did I think that you didn't have to have the music? So, since we're just doing something for aesthetics now, I don't know why I thought it played its own music, y'all. I know it plays the music box version, but you know, I didn't even think, duh, you have to put the music in to play the music box gonna have that in well, let's make them yep that's what I would do too you know this so is silly that in my pocket. I don't like it. Let's go. Let's find something else that we can put there. Some other decoration. Do we have something or do we need to make something? Spooky. Let's let's do another pumpkin and turn it around. So I hope that's enough. If not, there's three more we can hope for. Enough. The 
totally wreck a player bag. You know what? Yes, we're gonna put it back. Until I figure something else out. Because now I'm really... Uh, I don't know what to do. I mean, I could... No, the rules are if we don't craft it or cook it, we can't use it. So, we will have the illusion of music. We will just not have music. But, um, I do have a plan. And I haven't committed myself to it. But I'm thinking about, after the challenge, doing a series, or not a series, but uh, a video, where we come back to this island before the very last dream address, and we update it with items that we can buy. So, we do have that to look forward to. I wonder... I think we're going to leave that like that because what I'm going to do is make a little stone stepping stones and do a little path out here. I do not have it done yet. And um, I think that'll be good. Let's pull that just a little. No, I'm just going to. Okay. Well, y'all, let's take a look. We're going to come over the new bridge and see what Norma's side of this area looks like. She will be sharing it. That will be a surprise. No, that, but that's a nightmare. She will not be sharing it with her. Okay. Let's She's been awfully quiet around the island. That kind of concerns me. So we come over the bridge. There's going to be a path here. And it's going to lead this way. Then you're going to turn into Norma's little bakery. We have this area over here, which is the stall where she sells her goods. This is where Norma bakes all of her stuff. Then we have the seating area and some more baked goods with a little bit of decoration, some hedges and tulips and, and the whatnot, and a fence. So small build job. But I, I think it turned out good. Like I said, we will do some tweaking on it. Um, later on, we're not going to go back and redo builds right now. I'll say that after I just redid this one for the third time. But you know what I mean. We're not going to go back and change anything with the builds until the end when we're doing all the filler and transition work. So, I hope you're enjoying the series. I am frustratingly enjoying making it. Now, I would like to give my professional point tip, point of view, however you want to take it. If you're thinking about doing this challenge, I would pick either the no terraforming or the DIY only. I would not do them together again. Would not. It, it's too much limitation, I think. But we're doing it and we, you know, I thought, well, no terraforming. That'll be okay. You know, we won't be pressured into recreating something, but uh, but then you get into areas like, oh, I really need to move that river over just a little. Or, oh, it would be cute to have a pond here. Or maybe this cliff needs to go back a little bit. And you can't do anything. So, your hands are tied in that, that area. The DIY only is a challenge in itself. Because you don't realize how many bought items you depend on when you're doing your builds until you can't use them. But with that being said, I am enjoying doing this challenge. It's called a challenge for a reason and I needed to be challenged and boy howdy am I. But that's okay. We're, we're gonna make it. It's gonna be fun. 
and I'm really considering that very final video after it'll be after May because we want to make sure the challenge is completely over. But don't forget to hit that like button. I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am. And hit the like button, let me know. Leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the build, uh, about the challenge itself. Any ideas you might have for a restaurant build? That's probably going to be our next build. And of course, even though I know you have, I know you have, but just in case, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Come on in, be part of the family. Everybody's welcome. We are crazy, there's a lot of chaos, but also we are a fun, loving, and caring community family. So come on in, kick your shoes off, stay a while, have some fun, a little chaos, it'll be good for you. And um, of course, don't forget to ring that notification bell so you'll know when my next video comes out. And until then, bye y'all.